What's up, Scuba Squad? It's your boy, Scuba Steve-O, coming at y'all with a little bit of different kind of content today. Um, today, I'll just jump right into it. Today, we'll be adding the No Planaria. Um, what do you call it? Just a No Planaria dip, concentrate. For the shrimp. So, I watched uh, Grant's video, and what he did was he just took his plants or whatever and dipped them separately. So, instead of treating your tank, so instead of treating the tank, what you do is get you a little container somewhat that you can hold on your plants and I got a little fern and some some kind of moss and some I think the other it's like two mosses together like the subwasser tang moss there you can kind of see it now and you got the regular like type moss so anyways let's get into it so from what I got from his video from uh, the Garden of Eater Grant He's my shrimp guru. So, the other day I noticed there were some, like, detritus worms or whatever. They could have been planaria, but I didn't see a little triangle head. And I concluded they were detritus worms. And Google said that detritus worms are not harmful to shrimp, but scuds and planaria are. So, this remedy should help with... I think he said snails and the scuds, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on if it helps with the scuds. But then it helps with the planaria too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dose this little tote over here with three scoops. So I got one big flat level scoop right here. And then we'll add a second. And try to sprinkle this all over just to get it spread out a little well you kind of can't it kind of just bloops out on you kind of like an ice cream so I did kind of like three heavy scoops so about all three of my scoops looked about like this all right so about three of my scoops look like this I already added two so then I'll just go ahead and bloop. You see how it just bloops? Bloop. And I'll go ahead and mix it up a little bit or whatever. Just mix it around. So he said this stuff takes a while to break down. So what? <clears throat> what to do is to put it in a dark spot for at least 24 hours. And then come back and check. So what I'll do is put the lid on and put it under my bed here. And then maybe put a little blanket or pillowcase over it or something. So you just do that and come back and check. And then if you see any worms, just let it go for another day or two of soaking. And then wash it off with tap water and... Add it to your tank. So we'll come back um, and finish this video up in a couple days. We'll come back tomorrow and see what it looks like in here. So stay tuned. Alright guys. So we're back with the no planaria update. So I went ahead and instead of treating it just for the one night for the overdose treatment i went ahead and left it in here for the whole weekend and i forgot about it so actually this is this is the monday after so i'm scanning and i'm looking i don't really even see anything but better safe than sorry, right? Eh? Eh? 
Eh? So, alright. What we're gonna do is take this downstairs. So, I'm in here in the bathroom. What I'm gonna do is... I'm just gonna take the lid off here. Set it to the side. Then I'm just gonna drain the water slowly. And try not to pour the plants out of here. Like that. So, maybe... Forget about it. Don't put all of this. Don't put all in the sink. What I'm gonna do is come over here to the tub. Rinse this out. Alright, see. You know, we need to fill this back up with fresh water. Not too hot. Not too hot. Alright, so, oops, don't splash yourself. Once you got that full of your tap water clean, just take all the plants, just wash them off in fresh water, like so. It's picking all this gunk up, just like so. And then the rest of this I don't really care about. It's just I'll clean that up after. But he said to just rinse it off after you soak it with your no planaria dip. So just soak it like so. Then just wash it all off with tap water. So I think that's pretty decent. All right. Don't copyright me, y'all. Hello, Craig. But all right. So what I'm gonna do is just. Hey, y'all are talking about me. So what I'm just doing is pull all these brown ones off just because I don't like the look. So, keep in mind, this is my fresh tap water. I dumped all the no planaria dip out. So, I'm just going to take this little fern here and just give it a little wash off. Like so. And I'm just going to drink them in. See here, like so. So I got him in there, just chilling. So then I'm gonna take all this moss here. So I'll kind of brown and got all this gunk on it. Trying to get this little leaf off right there. So I just got my handful of moss here. And then I'm just gonna throw it in there like that. I'm trying to go ahead and scrunch up a little bit more. So i got another little handful of the breasts. I'm just going to discard of all that. So I'm just going to put another little blob over here again. Yeah. Take that out. So, this is the most important step of the whole process, I would say. So, we're just going to set this off to the side and discard of the water and all the extra little plant piece floaties. All the plant floaties. 
No, they're already climbing all over it. <laughs> so this is the most important part, I would say, is to water change 90%. So 90% of this tank, I'd say is probably yay. So let me go get my bucket, another bucket, and let me go get my siphon tube. So, I bought one of these nano gravel vacs, and they come with these little plastic tubes like this. Then they have these little, I don't even know what you want to call these. I'm going to call it like a filter cap or something. Oh, I never realized the bottom was were that small. I might have to glue the bottom hole closed but anyways i just take this and glue the t little cap on there so i'll take it and then i just show it show the end inside of here just like so into my siphon tube and then i can kind of use it to pinpoint but i'm gonna hurry up and get off here and drain this down to 90 percent and come back. All right, so I'm draining and I'm draining and I just thought of something. I always try to drain into a white bucket or some kind of white container. So that way you'll be able to shine your light or whatever. And you'll be able to see if you sucked up any shrimp or fish. Go. All right, so I'd say it's about 90% or whatnot. And I like tote and shine my light on my phone or flashlight whatever and take a quick look just to make sure I didn't suck anybody up so it looks good so we'll dump get rid of this and your prime Let's do a few little drops from a five gallon bucket here. So, let's get this thing cool. Got these plants in here. And I did my 90% water change and added my prime. So now, it's really just time to let everything settle. It's just time to let it settle. And we'll see if everybody's still alive tomorrow. And we'll give you an update. Stay tuned.